John Bruton, what do you think is the lesson of the Irish experience? Well, I think the lesson of the Irish experience is that you have to invest in the long term. We, over the last 30 years, have developed a very strong foreign direct investment sector. You've mentioned technology, medical devices, pharmaceuticals, financial services. Also, we have made this a country where it's very easy to set up a new business. The bureaucracy involved in establishing a new business is quite small. And that has encouraged a lot of Irish people to set up businesses spinning off from the high-tech sector and has enabled us to be in a situation now where our services exports actually exceed our goods exports. So we are a very dynamic economy and we're also an open economy in contrast to say Greece, Portugal or Spain where they basically trade within their own right. na nation. We, we export and import much Let more. Me which means that Anne Pettifer here if I, if I may, sorry to cut across you there. Um, Anne Pettifer, <laughs> it's a very mixed picture when you see a lot of young people emigrating. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have had to take serious cuts in their living standards. Uh, and worry about making ends meet and yet apparently according to the IMF and the European Central Bank this is an economy that's that's that's, well, that, that's I, resurgent. And, and I heard Joe Lynham say that as well and actually there's been a, a, a uptick in the quarterly numbers on GDP but the European Commission says that the economy continues to contract on an annual basis. So we have very high levels of unemployment, we have incomes falling, we have households with 200% of their in, uh, of their debt to disposable income and we have a country that's effectively evicting a whole generation of its people, 1,000 people a week and it's a tax haven. So. Um, I, well, I mean, I really hardly, think I mean, that the talk wouldn't think and the, the two of you are talking about the same country. Well, exactly. I think that there's a lot of spin going on about Ireland. I think really the, the, the economy has not been restructured. Not a lot has changed since the crisis. John and Bruton, do you uh, think... Well, uh, go on. Well, just to, to, I'd like to add to know that at the height of the crisis, we were losing jobs. The number employed was re being reduced by 8,000 a month. We're now adding jobs at a rate of 3,000 per month, and that has changed completely. And Ireland is not a tax haven. Ireland has made a deliberate decision to have a low corporate tax rate, but that's a transparent system of taxation with no special deals for individual companies like you see in certain continental European countries. But, but John, the fact is that... Of course we do, have a, we do have a problem with personal debt. That's how we got into the difficulty we're in. But where the level of personal debt is being reduced and the government has on every occasion met the fiscal targets that it set for dealing with its own financial problems. But John, you must admit that one of the reasons why uh, Ireland is having trouble accessing the ESM is that Ireland's European partners are really quite angry about the, the corporate tax levels, about the fact that, that, that they are effectively subsidising Ireland. This is another argument altogether. No, no. I mean, we, 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 what, what, we are being lent money by our European partners upon which we're paying interest. That's not a subsidy. It, what that is, is a, a deliberate decision by our European partners that they want to keep the European single currency together. They do not want Europe going down the route of devaluation and inflation of the sort of kind that we had in the 70s and 80s. They are building a single currency which involves a measure of solidarity. And that solidarity is being shown to Ireland and we appreciate it and hopefully in due time we'll be able to reciprocate. My point was that Ireland isn't doing the reverse, that, that by undercutting her partners in tax terms on her corporate tax levels, uh, this is causing quite a lot of anger, no, not just in Europe, but also, but also okay, in the look, United I, States. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Ireland, but Ireland, I, has, I, ha Ireland has had this okay, tax rate. Look, I'm really sorry about this, but I'm going to have to cut you off uh, because apparently we don't have any more time for this discussion. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Now, a rare encounter with genius. The shy chanteur's Lady Gaga is coming back from a debilitating illness with a new album.